Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Javez Khan. Welcome to my vlog series, which I've been asked to push and probe and needled and sent messages to report to you from these places. So I know you're curious and it's a good thing to be curious. So let me give you a little bit of history of where I am. My favorite village in Chach, a place which is vibrant, energetic, full of wonderful people of different kinds at all different levels. In history, there was a gentleman called Owais Khan, who I'll tell you more about at a later stage. And this particular village, his name derived, or should I say his name was given and changed ever so slightly. So do you recognize this place? talk about these. I will talk about this place. The center of a community the center of the community. Used for five daily prayer, used for education. The center of a million things. And as I just walk around the corner who do I have here? Let's have a look. Assalamu alaikum. Haris. So often, where I've arrived now, and this is in no particular order, is I've arrived, people keep asking me, Javez, where do you have your clothes made? Well, I design my own simple clothes, and they're imported to the uh, United Kingdom, and they're imported from here. This is the tip. This is Haris. Beavering away. And he. So. Oh, as the noise goes past. So. Uh, I buy my uh, uh, material from uh, the Tarhani, which is uh, in Hayatabad Bishawar. I buy my own material. My cousins will often bring it here. Har Haris will then, then tailor them. And they will arrive in six days. Afterwards, so look, this is uh, just a pair that he's just made right now, and I've just tried them on, and he's just checking all the measurements. Anyway, the video switched itself off, so <laughs> I do not know what I've said or where I am, etc. But look, I'm in the fantastic village of Wesa, which sits in the area of Chach. We are about one mile from the River Indus on this side over here, which is over here, about one mile from the River Indus. Islamabad is roughly about 60 miles that way. And roughly speaking, Peshawar is in the same direction that way. The majority of the language that is spoken in Vesa is Pushto. Uh, I believe, uh, I read somewhere, that about 98% is Muslim with 2% uh, being from the Christian faith. Do not ask me where I saw that or where I read it, but I just remember some, something about it. Our elders um, that migrated from this uh, village of Awesa, um, when I was looking at the, or reading the history when we were building Hanover Square. So salam to everyone in Hanover Square. By the way, salam to everyone in Oldham. Salam to everyone in Sheffield. Salam to everyone in Bradford. Salam to all those that are in Oxford and salam to all those Bhutans that have a link with this fantastic village. Uh, Abdurrahman Allah, Siji, uh, Rais, uh, uh, Awis, too many to, to, to mention. Uh, I've just met by Fiaz from Oak Lane in Bradford in the Masjid, so it's Osman if you're watching as well. Assalamu alaikum. So, in no particular order, uh, in 1951, I believe. Uh, one of the first people that went to the United Kingdom was Haji Anwar uh, Khan Sahib. May God uh, bless his soul. So I have to keep stopping the video because it's very... So in 1951, uh, he left uh, Wesa and went and settled in uh, Bradford, in Hanover Square, 
in Bradford in West Yorkshire and he went to work, work out there after a, a period of staying there he started to call um, members of his family because there was a huge requirement for work the Second World War had taken place the United Kingdom needed to be rebuilt so one person um, a secondary person third person fourth person and the majority of these were single men uh, looking for work and to uh, better their lives so Hanover Square Bradford developed over many 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 years and it became known as Anwar Square Hanover Square became known as Anwar Square and somebody's just stopping there they've recognized and many moons many moons later it developed in him known uh, for Patans particularly Vesa and then Silka, Prumli, uh, Formali, Malawa etc and as I'm just walking through the streets look on my left hand side a uh, local football club the local FC uh, I've played with these guys two three years ago um, and when we started the game they put me in goal because they thought look at that guy with a with a strange beard and um, his strange looks it looks like a fat little guy we'll put him in goals and after Asalaamu Alaikum Ji Asalaamu Alaikum Asalaamu Alaikum and after uh, uh, coming out of goal after about five or ten minutes I was playing in central midfield for the first team here we go so the game's uh, full of action as you can see the facilities are uh, first class the uh, coming from uh, the car park with the co with the executive coaches um, uh, the executive coaches oh here we go oh you know he's cleared it so uh, yeah from the executive coaches coming into the ground to the facilities security in the area uh, the playing facilities changing facilities uh, the, the the health and fitness facilities as you can see these guys are these guys are at the peak of their fitness um, and the ball I think is made of leather uh, it doesn't even look round actually uh, maybe it is rounded oh there we go he's cleared it so look this is the local football club ha 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 Tapped out into the road once one step back I better be careful because I'm being attacked by a truck and uh, there it goes oh and look uh, we have um, we have the team meal uh, riding in the back. Okay, this is what the uh, football players will be uh, consuming a, a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, what? Um, oh, okay. There's somebody beeping at the back. Not really in the way, because look, they're over there, and uh, over here. If I walk any further into the left, I'll be uh, walking under the foundation of somebody's house. Anyway. So as we car car carry on walking, so you may be thinking, what's a madman like me doing, sort of walking anyway? But my regular walk in the village is from uh, Malau to Vesa. So it's late Asr time now, as you stance. Uh, just turn my, you have to be culturally sensitive actually as well here, because um, there's uh, ladies sometimes walking straight towards you and they do not like to be photographed or videoed etc etc so if I just do that look at that isn't that beautiful and I'm just going to turn my camera around um, and remember this is in no particular order here is the board of Wesa so if you do not know named after a gentleman called Wes Khan So if I flip that round, and in Urdu, Vesa translates more or less as Isi Tarahe, Is Kadarka. In other words, this is how it is, this is it. So if you're from this is it. The camera the other way. And in uh, now as we walk this way, we're walking towards Shadi Khan. So look. A quick snapshot of uh, a little walk, walk through this. <laughs> You're turning into a comedy, this. It's meant to be like really serious because people have said to me, Javez, will you give us the facts and the figures? So, our second generation, 
I've just remembered something actually. Let me just turn around. Like Fazil Rahim Lala, if you're watching from uh, Oldham, uh, Daud Khan, Wahid, uh, Ayub, this is, I believe, this is your this is your house in Risa. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, here we go again. So I'll carry on with a with a little walk. But like I said, it's turning out into to a little little bit of a comedy show because one of the reasons I'm doing this is that I know for uh, us uh, second third fourth generation Pakistanis is very 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 important okay to keep in touch to keep in touch with the with the roots you know whether you love it or whether you like it or whether you hold uh, these places at, at an arm's distance for a thousand reasons okay we need to make sure that we keep in touch with roots we understand more about who we are who we are in terms of who we are where we're from where our roots come from uh, our elders our history and I remember a, a long time ago uh, maybe how 20 so Maybe about 15 or 16 years ago, I was having a conversation with one of the head teachers at school and I wanted about three or four weeks off for the kids so we can visit Pakistan. And she said to me that visiting Pakistan on a holiday is perhaps not the greatest thing to do. The noisy tractor goes past us. To do in terms of holiday. And I said to her, look, sometimes we think academic Education is the be alaikum salam is the be all and end all of all of the things that we do. Well, it's not. Okay, Edu education comes in many many different forms. Um, if you look into it deeply, you'll probably find about thirteen or fourteen different types. And one or one of the many reasons why you should travel and you should come to these places is, okay, one the culture, number two the language. At the top of the list, actually, is religion and deen. Okay, is a belonging is to make your language stronger so we speak uh, for me growing up in growing up in the united kingdom we're educated in english we speak in english we write in english however our urdu and this is very general our urdu and our pashto is just you know a bag of stones really you put the stones in a bag you shake the bag you just listen to the noise and then you just copy the uh, the noise so you know we're not uh, academically educated in these things so just coming here just speaking it, just being in the atmosphere, the 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 strength, uh, the the strength of your language is that the right thing to say? The strength of your language, the, your your language will become better, it will become stronger, your communication gets better. And just remember, the best, the highest paid people throughout the world are those that are the best uh, communicators. So look, there's a thousand thousand reasons. You know, the 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 food, the 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 way of life. Uh, mixing with a variety of people from different levels from your, your poorest to your most richest so on this journey I've spent time with um, those that are do not know simply okay where they're gonna get the money to pay for the next meal to self-made billionaires um, and it's uh, uh, Oh, there goes the, the pizza delivery guy. And I'm now walking towards um, uh, Sirka, which is over there on the, the right hand side. And the famous, if you're from these parts and you know these parts, the uh, Sirka Moor, as it's known, uh, very infamous from like 30 or 40 years ago because people wouldn't uh, come towards this area at night. Um, it was known for troubles to uh, say the least. So where was I? Yes, um, visiting these places to immerse in language and culture and religion and being and seeing a different type, type of lifestyle. And I'm going to uh, shorten this video because it's in no uh, particular order, but I'm just walking now towards the Sirka Moor. And as you will see, some development work is taking place. It looks like a filling station, a petrol station, with with uh, a super store being uh, built within it as well. On my left hand side here, you'll see, look, there's lots of paddy fields. So we're just leaving uh, Reza behind, which is in uh, that direction over there. And now we're going towards this direction, 
so as we carry on walking and noise from the motorbike you can hear the tuk-tuk going on so we're just walking past the Sirka Moor, heading towards Shadi Khan the next village is, is Malla and then the village after that okay it's formally if you carry on walking in a straight road then we have Gari Matani, uh, Mansar Camp and so on and so forth so watch this space listen to this space um, I shall give you a more detailed version uh, of this video with specific um, wherever you are in the world wherever you're doing right now have a wonderful blessed day evening my name is Javez Khan Pakistan Sindabad